Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2016 Thor Motor Coach Outlaw Toy Box RV. This one is the model 37 LS. Has three air conditioners on the on the back plus the front, so it has four air conditioners and total. And uh, this is a premium rig. It's very rare. It's kind of a toy box motorhome. It's not a trailer. It's a motorhome. So it has the cargo door. So in the back, you've got a cargo door and a rear awning. We're going to open this up to demonstrate, but before I put it down, it's got a towing package on it. Let's see what the rating is. The rating for the tow hitch is 8,000 pounds. Now there's a couple things this before. This is gonna be a long video. I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna go through the RV. But there's a couple important things you need to know. This is on a 26,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis. Okay, that's a lot heavier duty than most motorhomes. Most big motorhomes may have a 20,500 or a 22,000 pound chassis, but this is bigger than that. This is heavier duty. It's got a lot more steel in it. So it's a 26,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. So the maximum weight with RV plus cargo is 30,000 pounds. So it's a big, big one. It's about a 37 footer. So let's open this cargo door cargo door it's counterweighted with some springs to lower it slowly you could do it with one hand but it doesn't seem like a good idea so I used two hands I had to put the camera down for a minute and it's got these uh, these railings that go up to turn this into a party deck or it's a loading ramp so you can lower this down to the ground and load your Harley Davidson or your ATVs or whatever in the back so this support cable supports it as a party deck but if you take this out it drops all the way down to the ground for loading vehicles so you can bring your your toys with you that's why they call it the toy box now it also has a washer and dryer hook hook up so you could put a full washer and dryer back here you've got two benches in the back the fold down it's got rear air conditioning so if the deck is closed you've got air conditioning in the back it's got area lights and it's got a second entry door. There's two doors to get in this RV. Door number two and door number one. And then we have the outside television. I'm not going to get in and turn on every single TV and stuff like that for the video, but everything seems to work. We had to put a brand new air conditioning unit on the front. Brand new uh, OEM AC unit one of the air conditioning units had failed so we replaced that um the awning looks like brand new it's not this coach was uh was well taken care of let's go back in the party deck and then we'll go through the inside and stuff like that so with your party deck aka cargo door people can come in the back here without going inside and tracking dirt into the front so these are sofa beds back here they're like a twin size uh, bed or they come down and turn into sofas. I'll take some pictures of those, but they, they're they real, in really good condition. You have a bug screen that you can close off the outside and then your air conditioning in your cabinet so you can store stuff back here, but it's high enough to stand up. You got a metal toolbox back here, shelves for your accessories and things like that this is your washer and dryer hook up here in the corner and you have tie down points so as you can see you could easily put two motorcycles in here maybe more than two um, but two big Harleys would fit in here no problem or some uh, ATVs the brochure has the uh, specifications for it and then these railings fold up and turn into a party deck. So we can walk and stand out here. And um, let's put this awning out. You got your backup cameras, you got side view cameras. 
So right here, we have the controls to extend the rear awning. I can see it shadowing as it extends out. not like any other type of RV you can buy. This is a serious rig. And this is what sets it apart from another one, from others. So we've extended the awning. I guess the detailer forgot to wash it, but it's, um, it's very nice because it adds shade to your patio deck and you've got these bright LED cargo lights so you can turn those on when you're in entertaining out here. And then it has a privacy door to separate the cargo bay from the inside. It's got also direct access to the restroom. Got windows and smoke detector. And this little floor section here closes so you can not interfere with your vehicles being driven in here. We're gonna wrap it up by going over and showing everything about the outside. One thing it doesn't get, it doesn't get a roof access ladder. The roof is higher. The total height of this rig is 13 feet, three inches, which is below the legal minimums by several inches. But while we're going around the outside, let's start here. This has six brand new tires. We put brand new tires on it. These are zero miles. They still got the little bumps on there. Brand new, these are very good Toyo tires rated to support the weight of the motorhome. And these are aluminum rims. These are powder coated. This is not spray painted. These are powder coated aluminum rims. And they got these little spikes on there to especially stand out on the front tires. All the drivers that like to cut you off are deterred a little bit by those spikes sticking out. They don't want to crash into those, so it scares them away big cargo do doors you have a 100 gallon water tank for fresh water easy to flush it out you just turn the valve open it up and drain it but yes this is a full 100 gallon onboard water tank so you can bring enough water with you and of course you could put more water in the cargo deck it holds a lot of cargo bigger than way bigger than average cargo storage and this is full pass-through compartment here you got enough room to put your folding tables, folding picnic tables and things. You could probably bring more than two or three or four folding picnic tables. So you have a party on wheels, of course, to entertain all your friends and family members or have a rave in the, in the desert, bring all your stuff on this coach. That's a half pass through. It doesn't go all the way, but it's about maybe five or six feet deep. And then this one is a full pass-through. It's also very tall, so you could fit maybe two, three, four more picnic tables back here. Now these cargo doors, let's talk about the cargo doors. When you look at a lot of RVs, they just have a little cutout, okay? They're small doors. These are big bus-style doors. These are like the size of doors you have on diesel pusher motorhomes. These are the spiky things that keep people from cutting you off they it, they tend to give you a little bit more room all the idiot drivers that you encounter when you're going places and this coach is of course full body paint this is not graphic stickers these are actual painted on graphics uh, painting artists took their time and painted this all nice and the finish is in excellent condition we did have it waxed and detailed these are your side view cameras. They're up in the mirror, up high where you can see things when you're driving. And it's got a full room slide out with slide topper awning. There's an awning over the slide out. So that awning keeps the dust and sun, rain, dirt, debris. You park under a tree and the squirrels throw acorns at you and the birds. All that stuff just rolls off. Or if you're in the snow, it just the snow will just roll off the side when you put the slide in. Let's have a peek up towards the roof with this uh, boom extender. It's 
So the slide awning is in good condition, very good condition. Both, all awnings look in really good condition. This is your hookup compartment. You have full campground hookups here. You have a low point drain to purge out your excess water. A full RV filter. An easy switch panel. So you just hook up one garden hose and you can fill the tank and do all your winterizing or whatever functions you need to do. And there is an outside shower in here. Again, reminding you, six brand new tires. You can spend easily $4,000 going out to buy a set of brand new tires of six for a motorhome. So that's a big deal. We got, we've got these Toyos. We've had really good results with the Toyos. We put the Toyos on there instead of the Michelins. We don't, I don't like the Michelins. And so these are a very good, very popular alternative to the Michelins. We've had problems with the Michelins. They don't hold up. They last about four years and they start cracking. Normally a tire like this should last six to 10 years, even if you just park it in the sun. But uh, we're not having good results with the Michelin tires so, and they're very expensive. Like I said, you could easily spend $4,000 replacing Michelins and right now they're on national back order. So you can't even do that. Big propane tank out here. So you have onboard propane for your cooking, your interior heating, um, your water heater. Now this has two water heaters. Now this is your action station with all your, you got, you've actually got five big batteries on this coach. So there's a uh, four six volt batteries plus an engine starting battery. I know your circuit breakers and stuff if you lose power is over here and uh, this is just dedicated for the onboard equipment nothing else and it all looks in really good condition your onboard 5500 watt generator this is a quiet running onan cummins 5500 you have additional cargo storage area again you can fast forward this video if you want to look inside but before we do this is something important here this coach has a big Xanatrex Pro Pure Sign inverter. So your power inverter right here provides power for the refrigerator and other features of the coach. So you can run the refrigerator, full size residential refrigerator inside that runs on RV batteries, even if you're not plugged in. So that's really useful. You've got some various uh, electronic gizmos out here equalizers and and um, your slide out controls are right here and the hoses are here for your hookups as we go back this is your power hookup it comes with a power cable that's plugged in somewhere else and it's got an auto transfer switch so what is an auto transfer switch okay some RVs you have to plug the cord into an outlet from the generator to have the generator provide power to the RV. Not this one. It automatically switches to the generator or land power, depending on what's available. Over here is a washer, water pressure regulator and a brand new garden hose for you to use to hook up to the campground. This has everything you need. It's got water, sewer, and electrical. Everything is provided. Now in the last compartment here is your gas pump. So when you bring your Harley Davidson in the back, it's got an onboard gas pump hose right there with a nozzle. I don't want to get all dirty while I'm trying to film here. I don't have my gloves on, but it's got a little grounding plug. So you clip the grounding plug on what you're fueling, and then you can put gas in your motorcycle or your ATVs or your buddies can bring over their ATVs and it fills them up right from the onboard fuel tank. That's really cool. That's what makes this a toy box RV. All your portable gasoline powered stuff can be fueled up. No siphoning, you got an actual gas pump right there. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go through the storages on this side as well. These are the better quality metal storage compartments, you know, on this brand Thor and other brands a lot of them give you what they call roto molded storage compartments 
What does that mean? So when you're dealing with the plastic roto molded storage compartments, if you set a couple car batteries in there and driving through the hot desert, the plastic will get soft and they could literally fall right through onto the roadway. But these metal compartments that this RV has are strong. If you throw a car battery in there, it's not going anywhere. Then you don't clean up afterwards. They could rust, but there's no rust, not really on this coach. No significant points of rust. I've already showed you those. You have outside stereo speakers. You have your outside television. And I mentioned you have a quick water fill. So this little thing here, you put the key in, you unlock that, and you can hook a garden hose up. It's on the passenger side. So you pull this in front of your house, getting ready for your trip. You just stick the garden hose in there and top off the water so you have a fresh 100 gallons of water fresh filled up before you start your trip. So you can use the bathroom and the shower and head straight for your entertainment areas. Dual lights under the awning here. So the patio lights has got two of them and it's got an LED light strip in good condition. So a full light strip for this whole awning area. Um, and that works really well. Right here is a little doggy tie down. Now you don't want to do this when you're driving, but when you're in the campground, you can secure your dog leashes to this um, little loop there so the dogs will stay in the campsite. And you can keep water out here for them and stuff like that. You have outside power connections right here, 110 volt power, so you can plug in stere additional stereo equipment or additional TVs or whatever you might want to bring, video game consoles. And these are double automatic power steps. They provide easy access. Well, I'm remembering what to tell you. This is a height adjustable awning. So there's a little push tab here in the awning and it has these little holes in it. So if you move it from there to the higher position, instead of the awning being almost horizontal, it'll bring it down lower. With the awning up, high that makes it easy to get shade when the sun is on the other side it gives you more shade but if the sun is coming in from this side and you lower it down you have more shade close to the ground by lowering the awning a little bit that's the purpose of that but we're going to go around one more time there are no no worthy cosmetic defects there's one little tiny mark in the paint right here it's about a half inch long and we haven't tried to touch it up but i think we'll touch that up so it won't be so obvious, but that's really the only mark on this RV. It's pretty much, it looks like it just came out of the factory. So there is no embarrassment factor when you roll up at the campground. Something you can be proud that you have the pleasure of owning. A big piece of equipment like this. We, we went all the way to Texas to get this one, brought it back. These are pretty rare. A new outlaw has a sticker price of around $260,000. So the window sticker price is pretty his historic, epic, high price. You could tell your neighbors you paid that, but or you could tell them you got a really good deal. But the advantage is this is not brand new. This is a 2016. It just looks brand new. It feels brand new. Smells brand new but it doesn't cost brand new a lot of times when you go to the dealers they say hey uh, we're offering 25 percent off today only if you sign paper now we'll come down to 190,000. but you got to do it today because someone's com coming in tomorrow and then it's like oh sign here you don't have to worry about that but just if you're interested in this rv give me a call let's go inside so we're going to go inside and take a look at the 37 LS before we do. I said I had put brand new tires. Those are the old tires sitting right there. Six old tires and I did mention we have the LED light strip which we're indoors now in the RV indoor parking here. And we have this right now in the sleep configuration with the slide open. Have the AC on. It's been cleaned by housekeeping, so I'm going to take my shoes off here. Let's talk about what we have inside. So we have a big TV. I think that's like a 48-inch TV. So 
something like that. 50 inch, 48 inch, something in that size. And it's on a track mount, which means when the slide is in, you can move the TV over so it can still be viewed with the uh, slide in. It's got LED accent lighting here, and I'm gonna turn off the AC here so that we um, are quiet for the video. We have a front electric bed. So this loft bed here, your adults or kids can climb up here. You can sleep two people up here in the loft, front loft bed. You have a main queen sofa bed, the pull-out hide bed sofa here. But this is a really trick design. It only uh, flips over and turns into a bed in just a few seconds. And you still have room to walk past, which some RVs with hide bed sofas, you can't do it. You have a dream dinette here, which turns into a bed. You have your dining area light and another light over there. A lot of storage in this motorhome. There's a quite a lot of storage compartments. All your kitchen cooking and eating stuff can fit over there. You have a full-size residential refrigerator. Okay, I'm going to go back to the refrigerator, but this is a big deal. We'll talk about the kitchen in a few minutes. But Corian countertop, stainless steel residential refrigerator. Dual air conditioners on the main area plus the dash AC plus rear cargo area AC. You have a large bathroom here with a power operated vent. So you hit the switch and the roof vent opens up. Stainless steel, large sink. Some RVs have small sinks. This one is a nice big sink. And you got the fantastic fan up in the roof up there. So what happens is you hit the switch and the vent automatically opens under power and the fan turns on. And so if anybody's doing their business in here, it sucks all the smells out, which is really nice. That's a pretty high end feature. You don't see it on the cheaper coaches. And you do have high ceilings in here. This is a lot taller shower than most RVs because of the head height. So even if you're a basketball player, you probably could take a shower without banging your head on the ceiling. You know, if you're seven foot tall, which is unusual. So we've already showed you the cargo area. The cargo area is closed up right now. Everything's put away. But we're going to go up the stairs here because this is a two story motorhome. So let's go on the second floor here and see what we've got going on up here. So up here in the, this is a queen mattress bed in the loft area here. You have storage along the back. You got stereo speakers overhead. You have two AC vents right here. So you got cooling. If the rear AC is on, you have dedicated vents that you can open or close up here. So you stay cool up here. And these are full blackout curtains. So if you want to stay up, stay in late, uh, get, wake up late you don't have the sun shining in you got an HDMI port over there for, you can support a a TV up here and uh, it's got privacy curtain so you have privacy which is really neat this is a bunk bed area here and then you have the front bunk as well so these bu these bunks here as well so you've got two four five six seven eight nine sleeping capabilities on beds i would estimate at nine people if you really want to push it there's enough room to set up a inflatable bed on the floor here for a possible tenth person indoors with the ac going so this has one large full room slide out and i know some of the rvs have two slide outs but you don't really need when you have the longer rigs you don't necessarily need the second slide out because that adds more weight to the coach this coach has the capability to tow thirty thousand pounds trailer plus rv and without the trailer it can tow on on board twenty six thousand pounds that's a lot more than almost any other uh, gas motorhome and it has a high output souped up engine uh, from the factory to support that heavier weight 
So the front electric bed, there's a control switch right here. I'm going to demonstrate. We're going to put this as if we were getting ready to go. The electric bed has a switch right here. I'm going to turn this on. That's down. And it goes up and it runs up out of the way. So we can run the bed all the way up as close as possible to the ceiling. I didn't have the bed up all the way, but I'm tall and so I bent, bumped my head, so I put this here so I wouldn't bump my head. And we're going to come up, we're going to turn this bed into a sofa. Let's watch that really quick. So this is a really neat bed. Uh, I like this particular design. It's first appeared on RVs and I saw it in 2004 model, 14 models. So I took the middle cushion out. The back folds up. And you have seat belts, one, three seat belts in here. If you want to use the seat belts, you can clip them together and put them up over the back. Now, I'm just one person. It helps to have two to secure the seat belts. And I don't want to take all that time, but it just flips over like so. The cushion goes in. And you're ready to go down the road. Now, if you have some help, you can pull the seat belts out and you're ready to go. Now, we also have the Dream Dinette here. This is called the Dream Dinette because it has a, what they call a table vader, like an elevator that's a table. It's not power, but it's assisted with a, with a support strut. So you just lift it up, and there's a little handle underneath. You just flip it over. And now it's a table. So now I put the cushions on. The dream dinette is made up and talking about seating positions. So there's two seat belts at the dinette area, only facing forward. Three here, so that's five, six, seven. Seven seat belted seats in here. So you can bring seven people with seat belts. Bring any more one else, they're not gonna have seat belts. That's the way the manufacturer designed it. And then uh, while we're at it, in the winter time, you have a nice fireplace down here. This is an electric fireplace. You don't actually burn anything in it, but it actually gets hot. It's pretty cool. So even if it's the summertime, if you feel like you'd like to curl up in front of a fire, you can turn it on. And it's got a thermometer on there. It tells you what it's doing. And then it tells you actually what the temperature is. So. It's a fake fire, but it's very cool. Looks like real fire. You've got the different settings. You've got the dimmer settings or full brightness. You've got the heat settings. You've got the temperature setting. You can set the temperature you want it to operate at. And you can put it on a timer and the main power disabled so that it doesn't accidentally start up when you didn't expect it to. So all those features are very cool. You got the accent wall for styling. It's very cool. The dinettes are oversized. The captain's chairs are oversized. So whether you're skinny or oversized yourself, you got these extra large front captain's chairs. Now it supports a table that goes in the center console. Um, if you need a table, you'll, you can order one and put it here, the style you like. There may be some uh, that we can get locally available. And then you've got a backup camera, side view cameras. And what we were talking about the comfort, the front air conditioning unit is brand spanking new uh, rooftop unit. So we had to replace that. And then, uh, so you got a brand new one go back to the kitchen and we're gonna talk about the driver station so the kitchen is a double bowl sink premium faucet hardware it's fully operational the water system has no leaks in it uh, we had to service the jacks so the jacks have no leaks in it 
nice genuine Corian countertops here very cool an oven we had the housekeeper come through and clean everything so the oven and the cooktops have all been cleaned three burner cooktop these lids can stow behind here in carefully stowed in that position let's light the burner here watch this right away it's hot today I don't want to get crazy you got three burners you got additional burners behind it's a very stylish countertop here when you handle these covers you have to be very careful when you put them away but they do have a place to stow so you got to be very careful don't damage them I said I'll talk more about the refrigerator in a few minutes now it's time to talk about the refrigerator so this is like an 11 cubic foot residential refrigerator and this RV has an 1800 watt power inverter so we're going to take some time and explain what that means uh, there's also this under counter lights so a lot of RVs have a simple RV refrigerator which is called an absorption style the problem with those is they have advantage and disadvantage versus what this is the disadvantage is if you put a bunch of warm lukewarm food in there it could take 12 to 24 hours before everything's cold so you could be risking you know food poisoning and stuff like that this is a super rapid cool residential style refrigerator so when this is turned on it gets cold in about four hours instead of 24 hours and it's larger it's at 11 cubic feet so you can fit enough stuff to bring for your trip big stainless steel finished refrigerator big doors and because it's a residential style built you know you could use it in your home they added this uh safety lock here to keep the doors from flying open when you're turning corners you know if you got a couple gallons of milk on there it's a lot of inertia and this holds it closed so the doors don't fly open when you're turning around the corner is a very good design to keep the doors closed it does have an automatic ice maker you've got a giant full residential size microwave oven you know some rvs have a little microwave that's a, like barely a cubic foot but this is like a 2.2 .2 cubic foot microwave oven you do have a genuine tile backsplash behind here so this is not a cheapy you know tin foil backsplash it's got a real backsplash real high quality countertop let's look under here nice and clean under the cabinetry here it's in good shape the upholstery material no cracking we don't find any peeling the front seats that's one of the reasons why rvs have gone to these blackout curtains some of these newer rvs like 2004s 14s and 2012 2010s have had problems with the upholstery cracking and on this rig you've got full blackout curtains so when you park your rv to store it you close like the previous owner did and that keeps the sun from beating down and harming your upholstery and interior in the front we're going to go up the front now time to talk about the driver's station turn the key on here so ice cold dash air conditioner turn on the interior lights lighted knobs this is a high quality dash air conditioning unit you've got a lot of 12 volt power points so you can plug in all your charging gizmos in dash stereo with a it supports um what's called the on-screen navigation which they have the capability using an hdmi port to plug in your smartphone and have it display mirrored on the navigator screen using an hdmi uh, cable and adapter whether it's a google phone or like an android phone or a uh, iphone doesn't matter so we've got these shades check these buttons out nightshade and sunshade okay this is something special here with the sunshade 
we've got a see-through curtain which we can lower all the way to down so if it's sun is beating down on you you've been in the sun all day you can still see out the window I'm not saying that they recommend that you drive with this down but you could see out through it um, so if you're parked at the campground and you have this closed you can still see out the window but you're not getting as much sun beating in on you and that's power operated so I just hit the switch and it goes up but in addition to that you've got the blackout curtain which is also power you can have this one go down all the way so when you're gonna take off your clothes and go to bed you close the curtain and you have total blackout curtain nobody can see in and also I like these because when I'm driving into the sunset or the sunrise I can put these pretty low and it keeps the sun out of my eyes so we don't have to squint so much this is a really really neat thing because these A-class motorhomes have a giant windshield you know they're really great when you're driving in the national parks and you can see the tall trees and the beautiful mountains and you know seascapes or wherever you're driving near but these power shades help mitigate that when the sun is beating in on you and it can be annoying sometimes and you have side sun shades too you got these great big windows on the sides but you can close these side curtains and keep the sun out of your eyes so right now we're inside a building so there's three vehicles behind us we can't go anywhere and we have side view cameras so when you turn on the turn signal your side view camera that's the left side and that's the right side we have vehicles parked beside us as well so I've driven this motor home from Dallas to California so maybe 2,000 miles or whatever so while we have the key on the current odometer reading is one let's see about 1700 miles I we drove it it has 1,800 1,000 I'm sorry 18,347 miles on the odometer and these lights are on because we didn't start the engine because we're inside a building right now it has three quarters of a tank of fuel so it's not empty it's got a nice collection of fuel and this has the really new improved parking brake handle right here tilt steering wheel cruise control I can start the generator from right here I can turn on dash fans these little dash fans are nice to circulate air blowing around I've got these lights up here let's see so I've got I've got these lights in the overhead which I can control those from here or from up there so if you need a map light you can turn it on from here enable or disable and you have one for the passenger side as well which is very cool so that's why it's dark we're inside a building the front bed has pins to lock it in the up position and again uh, the seats are in great shape now you've got speakers everywhere so you're if you're into your tunes you got speakers all over the place here so you have no problem hearing your music inside you got speakers outside let's jump into the passengers chair here and you've got this lifts up and you've got a little desk here which you can enjoy seating at the little desk coin trays and drink holders everywhere so you can put all your drinks around there's a 110 volt power point down here 12 volt power points all around and you've got additional storage right in the overhead here which is very cool up over here by the entry door is a USB port collection so you could put all your iPads and iPhones at night in this compartment right here above the door and run the cables through and plug them into the USB charging ports right there you don't have to worry about it this will charge them right off the RV's battery it's very well thought out it's a big improvement and you know this is from the heritage of Damon Damon Motor Coach so Thor bought Damon brand of motorhomes Damon is the one who designed this and Thor continues to build these to this day I see there's a brand new one in for sale for like two hundred and sixty thousand dollars 
Uh, you don't have to pay anything close to that kind of money to get into one of these because this one's available. So I did mention before you have a washer and dryer cabinet here. And this is big enough you could put your home residential washer and dryer from home in here. You know, these are full garden hose hookups. Or you could put an RV washer. You don't have to buy the special RV washer with this RV. If you're going to take a long trip, you bring the, the go to Home Depot and buy the residential unit. You, you could strap it in with these straps right here. You know. And then put it back in your house when you're done with your trip. I mean, you got everything you need right here. This is one of your tune control centers, so this controls uh, the different sets of speakers throughout the coach. You got your TV, so let's see, we got one TV, two TVs, three TVs, three TVs in this coach. Probably you don't watch that much TV if you're in this RV, but you have TVs to entertain the, the ones that aren't out playing with the toys that you stored in the back. One thing I want to mention, because this has the higher ceilings. They did design this so you could store stuff up here, like backpacks or something could be put up here. And these got little retaining rails so they won't slide off, especially in this compartment. They won't slide forward when you slam on the brakes. So there's room to put stuff right here where you could actually reach it. Very cool. Centralized controls your water pump your you have a propane water heater and a 110 volt water heater to explain that I'm going to turn this when you go hook up at the full hookup campground or you run the generator you can enable your 110 volt water heater and it just uses electricity it doesn't use any propane to heat the water but if you want to take a lot of showers you can have both on the same time. See, the 110 water heater works kind of like a coffee maker. Like, uh, there's a heating element in it, and it gets the water hot inside the pot there, the water heating pot. And the propane has a flame that also heats it, so if you've got them both going at the same time, it makes it easy to take nice long showers. So your slide extend and retract is right here. Your generator start stop is right here generator is 1,274 hours on it. When you put the generator in the stop position and you hold it, this light will come on because you're running the fuel pump to prime the fuel system to make sure the generator has enough fuel. So it has that capability. You can check your fuel levels, the propane, battery, fresh water, black water, gray water, all the water levels can be checked right here. On the opposite side, we have the dry foods pantry. So your bags of chips, your canned foods, stuff like that can all fit in here. An additional storage down below. It's got a big fridge, but it still has a pantry, which is kind of neat. You have a closet right here. I'm gonna include a picture of this. This is all the specifications and the equipment that came new with the coach. Right there, it shows the VIN number. 2016 37 LS outlaw the vehicle data card a lot of times those disappear the adhesive comes apart but because I think this RV was indoor stored and kept nice and protected from the elements though that's still here it still looks like a brand new coach then we can go over to the driver's station over here there's additional labels describing the coach right here with the vehicle information on it. By the way, while we're here, it's got the heated mirrors and you've got the LCI electronic leveling uh, jack system on it, which is a really cool setup. It does have that. Turn off the lights. This is the essence of being ready to go out and have some fun and enjoy yourself right here. Very nice setup. It has a place to put a lounge recliner chair here. It doesn't have one, but they sell them on Amazon that you can attach to the floor. They're, they're like 200 bucks if you need to add a chair to it. You know, somebody uh, took it out, but got two fire extinguishers, one by each door. 
and I mentioned the inverter. I'm going to explain the inverter. So because that refrigerator works on 110 volts, like uh, in your home, and this is an RV, it'll still work even if the generator's not running, even if the RV is not plugged in the campground, because that's what this inverter does. It produces the 110 volt power for the TVs and for the refrigerator. So you turn this puppy on, you're driving cross country with a generator off and then your refrigerator still works because you have the inverter. This has four house batteries and it draws from those to keep the refrigerator running. It's telling me the battery voltage right now and that everything is good. It's a green status indicator. And then uh, we have actually got on this one an automatic generator start system. So if your battery got too low, it can automatically turn a generator on to recharge it. Which, this is actually the first RV that I've had that has the system on it. So I haven't got to play with it. But that should keep your food going. If, you, if your hike ends up being a little longer than you expected, it can start the generator up, run it, and then shut it down automatically. Which is a, an extra bit of security. If you're all, ever in doubt, they say you take a piece of ice and you stick a quarter on top of it and stick it in a little container in your freezer and if the coin goes into the melt in there that means it wasn't cold enough so just as a security precaution but I don't expect you would have any problems you know certainly not if you're at a full hookup campground and my video before I do, we're going to look underneath and take a quick peek underneath. I'm running the AC, so we're getting a little condensation off the roof. We're going to look at the engine here. That's your Ford high output V10 engine. It meets California in federal emission standards, so it's legal for California. We found that there's not really any rust or corrosion underneath. It hasn't appeared to have been in the snow. And these are the brand new tires. You can see they still, they still have the little studs sticking out of them because they haven't been driven on. All six tires are brand new. These are brand new tires. And these were the old tires. The old tires had a lot of tread on them. But I don't like Michelin tires. They have tendency to get cracks. So when you're looking at the other RVs, you want to check around the numbers and look for little cracks in them. The, these, these Michelin tires seem to only last about four years and they're ridiculously expensive. And then this rig has full black powder coated rims on it. That means this isn't paint, this is powder coating. And it's all the way on the inside of the rim, on the, on, you know, it's not like somebody took a spray can and painted this black. This is from the factory. Um, I guess maybe this was in a RV show when they did it. It's got these spiked lug nuts. When the crazy car drivers are running around you like fast and furious, they see these spikes and they get scared and they'll stay away and they won't cut you off like they do, you know, if you don't have these. Or at least that's the idea. Now these cargo doors are gigantic. They're huge cargo doors. They're not the little cutouts like you see in other RVs. And I'm going to lay down here and look underneath. But I'm trying to keep the video from getting too long. So all six tires are brand new. This has the interesting uh, newer design with the parking brake on the differential assembly. So it's the super heavy duty chassis with the newer uh, suspension setup. It's very cool. You don't see it all rusty underneath here. These are metal compartments. They're not all rusted up or anything like that. And then uh, it looks really good. That pipe over there is your generator exhaust. So that exhaust near the, all the exhausts are together. And then we're in doors, but it's nice and clean in here. So I, we did service one of the leveling jacks had a leak. So we put a new fitting on it the right front leveling jack had a little leak on it so we replaced the fitting and we got a spare fitting which we're including in the rv as well so 
In case that ever happens again to another fitting, you'll have a spare. I did mention the side view cameras are up on the mirror there, side view cameras. Anyways, I want to keep the video from getting any longer, so I'm going to wrap it up. Now, if you're watching this video, I do leave my videos up on YouTube for extended periods of time. So you want to take a look at my website, see if it's still available. So go to mybestcar.com. My company name is a buyer's choice. So if you're coming in to pay for it, you pay through the order of a buyer's choice. But the website that you can find out if it's available is mybestcar.com. And then, uh, like I said, there's almost zero imperfections. And when we pulled it into the shop, there was a little scratch here, but we did some touch-up paint on it so it doesn't stand out anymore. That was right here. We did a little touch-up on it so it doesn't stand out so much. Anyways, my name is Mike Johnson. If you want to give me a call, my number is 951-681-2101. Nine five one six eight one twenty one zero one. Thank you for watching.